Okay. Um, Let's throw it out to Alex to get us kick started. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we looked at um, an RCT article based upon systems of detection of melanoma. Uh, there was a gold standard system and what's called the Molemate system. Uh, the aim of the trial is to look at referral rates um, and try and uh, get the uh, correct referral rate uh, based upon uh, inspection and also trying to maintain the uh, psychological status quo of the patient. Um, the trial was randomised uh, but unfortunately not blinded due to the nature of the physical examination uh, between the uh, clinician and the patient. Um, and the uh, randomised groups were the intervention group and the control group. The intervention group then can we talk about my job? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, the two groups were very similar at the start of the trial. They, were, they had to be 18 years of age and they had to give informed consent. They, had, they must have had to have pigmented lesions either present, pre, present on the patient or noticed by the healthcare professional, which is not immediately di like diagnosed as benign. Um, aside from the allocated treatment, both the groups were treated equally. Each group had an, an, an examination and treatment protocol that was the same for each patient within that group. Um, all the patients who entered the trial were accounted for at the end of the trial, and they were analysed in the groups to which they were randomised, with the intervention group finishing the trial at three months, and were analysed in the group to which they were randomised. All participants within each group were accounted for during the follow-up. And I'm going to throw it over to Jasmine. Um, okay, so like Alex said, due to the nature of the intervention, it's not possible to blind the treating therapist. So even though it was randomised, they still had to be with the clinician to get treated. Um, so the treatment effect was 747 participants across 15 practices with increased biopsy rate of 10% amongst 22% referred to the intervention group and 12% in the control group. 15% um, difference from intervention from control group. So the trial is about detection, not treatment. And there is no absolute risk reduction. Where's or, that? Or. Or relative. Yeah. Risk reduction, there's or, none. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so this article it demonstrates that there is not enough evidence to support changing to the Melamate system due to the fact that differentiating between the two referral processes was inconclusive. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> and then what? That part's Janine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the results of this study aren't going to help me in caring for my patient. The results were inconclusive because there wasn't enough evidence uh, differentiating between between the two screening processes. Further research needs to be done in a randomised control trial to see if the new screening process is effective. Um, also, more research will need to be done to create a new screening process that has a clear separation between the two groups. <laughs>